Alright guys, um, this is another part to the video of the um, 1UZ Twin Turbo Swap uh, RX-7 FD. Just got shipment from Speeding Parts. They've made me up some custom bits for the swap with regards to the gearbox and clutch and everything. Oh, nice. Sintered clutch disc. Get this open. Get this open. It's looking nice. Yeah, you make this up custom. So the spline is the FD spline because I'm using the FD gearbox. It's nice. So it holds some decent decent pressure this, you can see it's pretty well made. Could be putting quite a few horses through it, probably 500, 600 horsepower. So, talk to some other stuff that I've bought as well, that's also coming from these guys. I've bought um, a full ARP head stud kit, both heads. I've also got some um, multi-layer steel head gaskets coming as well. Replace the uh, what you call it, the um, composite ones that are currently on the car, and I'm also thinking to do a cord on plug conversion too. So, yeah, it says here, put on once the part numbers are made by PMC, it's actually cheaper to get the stuff made through um, speeding parts. So, get this open. Must be a release bearing, I'm guessing. Start bearing, probably. Okay, so that is what bolts to the, what would you call the sleeve that the um, sort of throwout bearing slides up and down on, because obviously that's a pull type clutch and we're converting it to a push type clutch. So that's going to bolt onto the gearbox. And replace the um, sort of like sleeve that's bolted on there that the throughout bearing currently slides up and down on. So we're going to get rid of that for Pretty fancy. Wee, that is a nice bit of kit. Oh, look at that. All nice and new. Lovely. Nice little. It's a bearing in there, but it's a. Looks like a cheap bearing. Looks like a cheap pilot bearing. There's no brand name on it, it's probably a cheap Chinese pilot bearing, but works, it works. I might replace it. Was it a 6202 RS? Yeah. 1UZ RX8 it says on there. It's definitely from RX7. Maybe they've got the same, uh, same fit. But this is nice and light. Look at that. Whoa, so light. <laughs> That is lovely, that is absolutely lovely. Really, really nice. As you can see again, it's a 6203 RS. Oh, this is made really, really nicely. I really like this. This is really, really nice. Yeah. Really nice, and this ring is obviously bolted to the actual friction ring there, with the friction disc. Friction pads go on to. We go on to here. So we bolt it on through the back. Really nice, really nice, but really light, really light. But I wonder how much it weighs because we're going to weigh it, shall we? I've got weighing scales in there. Let's have a look. Oh, fuck's sake! Cleaners. Bloody cleaners moved my bloody wing from my from my Supra. Can't just put that. Up against my lovely white chair as well. Right, 
Let's have a look, shall we? Four point five kilo. That is nice and light. This is going to rev so well. What a lovely bit of kit. It doesn't actually tell you the weight on the side, so it's lovely that. Let's see what else comes in it. We've got. This is going to be the trout bearing. I'm guessing. Yep. So. It's like an internal type, and that obviously bolts up to I think the BMW type. And that's got a bearing on there. Let's try and open this up. Lovely. Lovely. Got bearing there. I'm assuming this is a one piece kit then. That's exactly how it comes. I might, I might grease it up a bit on there before I install it. That obviously, this obviously bolts to that plate. I see the three bolt holes that bolts onto the um, gearbox. And then I'm going to have to run a line off there. Which I'm assuming is in that box there. I'll have a look at it in a minute. Put that back in there for now. Just set it on a top brand. Okay, there we are. That's the part number. Obviously, through the um, okay, okay, so we'll run the clutch line into there, some bleed nipple there, and that goes to the um, what do you call it? Weird asking. that goes to the slave clutch slave, and now you get that to bleed up then. Bit of a weird system, no. Bleed up that first. I wonder if there was a bleed nipple on that. I'll have to check if there was a bleed nipple internally on it. What the two bleed nipples on it. And we've just got all the bolts in here, all the hardware to make it work, some washers. I have to just construct them to see how it all goes together. Make sure all the washers are in the right place. But yeah, it's looking, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that so far. So um, I'm guessing it's just gravity filled. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. I've not seen anything like that before. And again, I don't, don't do any BMWs or anything, so I just can go back in there. back for the next video when I'll be fitting some of this up to the car. Cheers, thank you very much.
And guys, this is a beautiful bit of kit. I really love this. Just, uh, I've got one other thing that I forgot to have a look at. Was the adapter plate. <coughs> Which is here. Oh, that's a nice thick bit of kit that, isn't it? That's lovely, that is. Yep, I like that very much. Get it out and have a look. Oh, it's lovely, that. It's really, really well made. Nice. Yep, there's a good... There's got to be a good... 10 15 mil there that's strong enough to bolt to the block <clears throat> and then these holes are threaded all the way through that's quite nice so obviously these ones bolt onto the engine and um, then I guess the other ones bolt onto the gearbox so you've got a threaded hole there threaded hole this must be the starter so that's <coughs> up like that then <coughs> onto the engine yeah very nice very very nice looking forward to getting this fitted up it's a nice thick bit of kit that about 20mm thick Nice. All the mounting holes we got. Three, four. <coughs> so some of those have uh, got threads in the gearbox as well. So I'm guessing, without looking at it, I'm guessing one into the one into the gearbox. And that'll be another one in the Is that a peg, a dowel peg? I'm not sure, we'll get it up there anyway. It looks like a nice bit of kit. One UZ RX8, RX7. It's a lovely, lovely bit of kit this to be fair. So yeah, I'll fit that back on there. I like the packaging the way they've done that. It's quite nice. Quite nice how it all just fits together in one box. Just goes in place. It's all pretty, pretty good. Put this back in. Thank you for watching guys, please like, share and subscribe, come back for the next video, make sure you get your notifications turned on, happy days, thank you.